from major to minor. That's one of the things that gives the light and shade in this piece of music. Hi everyone! Today's listening project is going to be a little bit different format. And, well, I got this idea. I have listened to some covers of songs that were not that I hadn't heard the original version yet. And a couple of them I did go back and listen to an earlier or a different version, eventually. But this time I am going to start with the original. And then it's kind of a double first listen today because I will listen to the original by the artist who created it first. And then I will listen to a newer cover or reworking different version of it in a different genre to see how it has been adapted, reused, and, you know, coming from a classical background where I'm accustomed to hearing what you all call covers all the time, um, not the creator of the work performing the work. That's what a lot of classical music performance is because most of the creators are long dead and gone. So I'm accustomed to this idea of taking somebody's work and interpreting it, presenting it. Very often we try to do it as faithfully as possible, as true to the original intent. Some of us go really crazy into trying to play it on instruments that might have been at that time. Other times we completely rework it into kind of our own piece. Anyway, so this is going to be familiar and at the same time unfamiliar in its approach. And we'll see how it goes. And for this listening project today, Vlad has chosen a piece by Bob Dylan because, well, I've already listened to a few of his pieces and so I'm somewhat familiar with his style. I will get to hear another one of his works and then I will get to see how somebody has recreated, reinterpreted it in a different genre. Well, of course, before I dive in, let me remind you that you can always go to my coffee and Patreon pages and check out what I have to offer there. Um, everything from advance, early access to recordings that will eventually become public here on YouTube to other recordings and series which I can never put publicly on YouTube because of YouTube's copyright policies and systems restrictions. So let's dive in and see how this goes. Lay Lady Lay. Interesting title. Lay Lady Lay. Very poetic. It, it has a ring, a, a sort of a, a flow to it. Well, what, what did you expect is Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan, who is known as the poet, was released in 1969 on Dylan's Nashville Skyline album. Hmm. Nashville Skyline. I know that. City, rather. The Skyline, rather. Although I think it was different back then. In a 1971 interview, transcripts of which were auctioned in 2020, Dylan said the song was written for Barbara Streisand, with Streisand later adding that Dylan wanted to sing a duet with her. Dylan played the song live for the first time at the Isle of Wight on August 31, 1969, and Billboard described Lay Lady Lay as an infectious and appealing folk number with a country flavor. Record World said it was a lovely and winning number. Cashbox called it a strong sales prospect to break onto bestseller charts. They're thinking in business terms. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Whatever colors you have. In your mind, I show them to you, and you see them shine. 
Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big breast bed. I'm not sure that I would have recognized this as Dylan based on what I've listened to so far. First of all, it's much more melodic than the other pieces I listen to. It's it's gentler, it's um it's more seductive, it's um even the way he's using his voice is different, tonally different than say the hurricane. And it's such a contrast between the two that, well, you probably know me by now. I enjoy melodic music. I enjoy music which has a lyrical quality and um, that kind of shape and feel to it. So already I'm enjoying this one probably more, definitely more than the first two I listened to. And it's a pleasant surprise to hear that, okay, Dylan can sing in this style as well. All right, I'm going on. Stay, lady, stay. Stay with your man a while. Until the break of day. Let me see you make them smile His clothes are dirty like the but his drums there as we come to the chorus are each clean time. And you're the best thing that he's ever seen Stay lady stay Stay with your man a while Why wait any longer for the world to begin? You can have your cake and eat it too. Why wait any longer for the It's not just a touch of country, a folk style. You also hear just a touch of blues, jazz, rhythmic elements in there as well. Just enough to make it have a little bit of a sway, a little bit of a um, swing to it in a few places. It's it's nice, especially when this guitar comes in. Well, let's see if I can find it here for you. Why wait any longer for the world to begin? Right there. You could imagine that being played on a piano in a blues song and it would feel perfectly natural there. A little bit flexibly, you could say, played in a rather juicy style. Um, another thing that I'm noticing is this nice um, sort of motif compositional element, maybe you call it a riff, but it's this descending chromatic line. Let's see if I can find a spot for you here. Hey lady, stay, stay with your man a while. Why wait any longer for the world to begin? You can have your cake and eat it too. It's in the background a bit. Very Why wait any longer for the but. one you Listen for it, especially in this spot here where there's not a lot of voice going on and we can pick it out a bit. Hey. Stay with your man a while Why wait any longer for the world to begin? You 
can have your cake and eat it too Why wait any longer for the one you love When he's standing in front of you Lay, 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 lay Lay across my big brass bed Stay, lady, stay. Stay while the night is still ahead. Subtle, gentle, sweet. Kind of a little bit tugging on your heartstrings a bit as well. The the way the this chromatic line. Duh. being played perhaps it's being presented by some strings or synthesizer or maybe it's the guitar I can't really decide what instrument is but it has a sort of violin string bowed string quality to it regardless of what instrument is actually producing the sound and it sets up this picture of mm, somebody really wishes for something and he's, he's gentle about it but he, he really wants something here and it's it of course the lyrics are are very clearly romantic and um, sexually inviting in a again in a in not a an unpleasant way. It's very sweet and and um, I would even say comes across, at least to me, with the way it's set in the lyrics as respectful. He's inviting this woman, this lady, obviously the one he loves, to spend the night with him. But it's an invitation. It's not a it's not a a summons, neither is it some expression of masculine prowess. It's, I would like you to spend the night with me. I would, I would like to have you here with me tonight in my bed. And it has a, a very, uh, ordinary is not what I want to say, unsophisticated quality about it. I'm picturing somebody a little bit tending towards the Wild West type and he comes to his lady and he takes off his hat and he he's talking and he's inviting and 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 he's asking her to come spend the night with him in his home while she's in town. It's it's setting up that picture in my mind and it's very charming and it's very we could say even chivalrous in its in its attitude and its its approach to the whole subject and this violin sounding bowed string quality in the background with this figure adds to that aura it also this descent bum, 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 bum. isn't it interesting that it's a descending figure as if we're moving towards the night as if we are as if we are um again i don't want to give the wrong picture here he is not down on one knee neither is he begging but there is this sort of humbleness to his to his expression and of course there is also the idea of lying down for the night which is also descending it this this little figure can shapes the music and the the expression of the lyrics so eloquently and so incredibly beautifully in its simplicity that i i, I don't think that dylan sat down and thought about 
okay, I need a figure that expresses this. No, 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 it's much more instinctive. And, and he's a musician and a poet who, who has a feel for these things, but it comes through in the music and this is how the music presents it to us. I long to see you I think in the guitar. morning light I long to reach for you in the night Stay lady, stay I've heard this a couple of times earlier as well, but now I want to take a minute to stop and enjoy it. Listen to what's happening in the bass here as we come to the end. For you in the night Stay lady, stay, stay. In the night Stay lady, stay So interesting In the night Stay lady, stay Stay while the night is still ahead Stay while the night is ends as simply and gently as it has progressed through the entire piece of music. Isn't that lovely? I like this one a lot. I guess it's the first one, first performance by Dylan, the first song by Dylan that, that I really feel like I can enjoy the listening experience for its own sake, not just appreciating elements of it, um, historic context, his poetic ability, his expression of different topics. This experience itself was enjoyable to me to listen to. I like it a lot. I'm very curious to see what happens as I go on to listen to the next performer. I don't even know who it is yet. Vlad hasn't told me. But I enjoyed it enough that I, I feel like I want to go back to the beginning I don't know if I will listen to it all the way through again, but I do want to listen to it at least the beginning and maybe show you on the harp and on the page a bit of what I'm hearing and enjoying and singing along the way. Well, now that I've heard the entire piece, now I can appreciate this opening a bit more because this is where we first hear that little chromatic descending motif, which is right here. And well, we see it reflected in the guitar up here as well. This upper note is also reflecting the same little descending line. And this is how it sounds. We start on, it starts on an A, and then it descends to a just a half step lower, just a neighbor next door, G sharp, and then a neighbor down, and then neighbor down. Those four notes, very close together. And that seems to be what a good part of this music is built on, is that little figure. Well, of course, the guitar is able to warp and bend it a bit, which adds to the sweet, sweet quality that I was um, enjoying. It gives it a little bit of a lilt. And then what we have underneath it, if we listen closely to the bass, is also a oops I hit a pedal is also a repeating figure of a c sharp g to a b and then it happens again on its own 
tone, it has a little bit of a dissonant, unsettled quality, but when we mix it with all the harmonies that are happening in this very gentle instrumental introduction, it fills it out very nicely. Let me just show you how these two, the, the bottom and the top, the outer edges of this introduction of this we could call it a riff, although I would tend to call it a a motif or po possibly, yeah, I would tend towards motif, but again, that's just me. But we can say a riff of this bass and the melody up here. And actually it seems to be a an entire unit that is functioning as this riff, as this repeating musical element throughout the piece. So we have the A in the bass and the A up here. And it is an A major chord that begins the song. And then we're working in contrary motion, opposing directions. So the bass walks up, the melody walks down, and we end up with a C sharp minor from major to minor. That's one of the things that gives the light and shade in this piece of music. We have major, minor, and then as we walk down, we go to a G major, and then a B minor. Light shade, light shade, this, this, continuous movement and coloring of the emotional mood, the quality in this song, which is both sweet and, and desiring, as well as dignified and hopeful. And you've got to love that doing every time the guitar enters. It's it's um, kind of a, a cue that something is coming. It's what launches his voice. And, and what's happening is now instead of the bass playing this bass part, but it goes doing and it lands on. Well, of course, it's an octave lower, so it's going to come up. Let's see, I can't really make the work, but I could do a gliss. It doesn't have the same effect, does it? Doing. And so now the bass is also echoing this, not even echoing, but, but simply participating in this descending line. Lay, 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 lay. Lay across my big brain's bed. Now it's doing the bass part. Lay, 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 lay. Lay across my big brain's bed. Whatever colors you have. And it's also interesting to, to notice how the voice, as he enters, is coming from A up to E. Lay, lady, lay, which is again following the contour of the chord pro progressions that are happening there. And as the bass ascends, 
the voice follows and then starts to descend earlier. Lay, lady, lay. The bass is rising up. The voice goes, lay across my big brass bed. And then it dives down while the bass just descends a little bit. It's Isn't it fascinating to see all these different threads and lines in such a simple, sweet little progression? And the way each instrument and the voice participates and combines to give a sense of movement so that we're not just merely chunking out chords. We're not just going A major, C sharp minor, G major, B minor. It could, but it wouldn't have the same fluid gentleness to it. It is the way we call it the voicing, the voice leading, the way the different instruments follow the contours of these chords and lead us through the progressions, which is giving this atmosphere. Whatever colors you have in your mind brightens here, I'll the voice to you. steps up to these Can higher pitches. And the drums, of course, lay, lay, lay. add some dynamism as well. Lay across my big brain. And it gets this lay. warmth again. Stay, lady, stay. Stay with your man a while. Until the break of day. Let me see you make them smile. And well, all of that is happening over and over and over again because, as I said, it's a it's a repetitive figure, a riff, a motif, um, even an ostinato figure we could call it. And other than that, we are focused towards the lyrics, the voice. And the voice here has a very pointed quality to it. And so that's essentially what the music is built out of, is this riff, this repeating element, this, we could even call it an ostinato pattern in a sense, although it's far more than mere rhythm, rhythmic ostinato. It's um, harmonic and melodic as well. So riff or motif is a better term for it. And that's essentially what carries the entire song, what sets up the platform on which these lyrics can ride and the voice can sing and tell us the story. Well, I really can't listen to a Dylan song without commenting on the lyrics, especially this one, in which the flow and the rhythm and sonic quality, musical quality of the lyrics is so obvious and so attractive. Lay, lady, lay. Who, who would come up with that repetition? Lay, lady, lay. Lay across my big brass bed. Things like the repeating of the different vowels and consonants. It's not just a lay, lady, lay. Big brass bed, each starting with the consonant B. Lay, lady, lay. Lay across my big brass bed. Whatever colors you have in your mind, I'll show them to you. The the imagination and the descriptive and and painting a picture qualities of these lyrics is absolutely beautiful. Stay, lady, stay. Now he's taken lay, lady, lay. He turns it to stay, lady, stay. Stay with your man a while. Until the break of day, let me see you make him smile. Again, we hear stay a while and then smile, kind of combining stay a while, smile. The, the sounds and it's such a musically 
lyrical set of lyrics that it's incredibly pleasing to listen to simply on its own. And, well, as you can tell, I did enjoy this piece of music. Um, I think it is lovely, unsophisticated, unpretentious, um, gentle, and very nicely balanced in its presentation. And, it, and, and I truly enjoyed hearing Dylan's voice singing in a more melodic style. And I guess I'm even more interested in exploring more of his work now. Well, the next thing that's going to come is I will do another listen to this very same piece of music presented by a different band, a different artist. I don't even know what it is yet. I will have to wait and see what Vlad has for me. And that video will come and you will see my response to their presentation of it in what he tells me is going to be a different genre, a different style of singing music. I'll see you soon. <laughs>